Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute, not knowing. I go by the nickname Ginger. Let's get our hugs. Look at my mask, y'all. I have an auntie mask. Girl I went to church with. <laughs> Girl I went to church with. She, she made me a couple, but I have my own auntie mask, which most of us have to wear. Memorial Day is May 25th. It is just around the corner. May 25th. It's early. A couple of people, I guess maybe I did not explain it well. But when we get out of this week and we head into next week, we're heading into a Memorial Day weekend. And the big day is Monday, May 25th. Prince is coming to YouTube tonight at 8 o'clock and for the next 72 hours. It's Prince and the Revolution with the Purple Rain concert. Here in Philadelphia, there was a, 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 a concert hall called the Spectrum. It's now the Wells Fargo Center. But back then it was the Spectrum. I just got into radio. Just saw Purple Rain. I was purple head to toe. Had the lace gloves on. Just everything. The tour was incredible. When Prince did Purple Rain, you saw the confetti and the balloons come from the sky. One of the best shows I've ever seen. And now on YouTube, Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain takes over. If you've seen it, you know my excitement. A couple of you mentioned like you that like you saw the show, how great it was. If you didn't, if you want to see a showman, it was Prince. Prince was such a showman. You know, show the kids, just 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 a genius. Of Prince. I'm super excited. Tonight, starting at 8, the next 72 hours, Prince and a Revolution with Purple Rain. Tristan Thompson, Khloe Kardashian. I have a list of people that I just I just don't want to talk about anymore. And if Khloe Kardashian wants to be pregnant by, by her baby daddy who keeps cheating on her, then let her. Because sometimes you just got to let people be dumb. Tristan Thompson, it's another scandal, another woman, another baby. He's taken a paternity test and he is not the dad. But the girl is like, I'm looking for a couple of dollars. She's still going to sue him. They're threatening her with lawsuits. It's just dumb. It's, 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 certain, certain celebrities, they get on my nerves. Someone said, why did you mention Kanye being a billionaire? I'm sick of him. Let him go with his MAGA hat and go somewhere. I had to cut. I love Tiffany Haddish. I had, to, I had to stop. I don't care who broke your heart. I, I don't care. It's too much. Future, child, they done found out that, that crazy woman. Um, he is the daddy. The stories with Future get on my nerves. So I'm like, Future and Lori Harvey. It's just some people. It's just like, go, go and sit over there. Go and sit over there. Kevin Hart, we know that he and his wife are expecting a baby girl. But did you know that he's teaming up with Nick Jonas? Um, there's a docu-series called Regular Heroes, putting the spotlight on regular heroes during this COVID-19 pandemic. Kevin Hart, Nick Jonas, it all kicked off with Alicia Keys. Jay Manuel was a judge on America's Next Top Model. He's written a book entitled The Wig, The Bitch, The Meltdown. Is he talking about Tyra Banks? He and Tyra are no longer friends. They have no communication. They must like nod at each other when they see, but last week when these stories came out about her behavior on the show, people were like, where's this coming from? This took place back in 2006. Jay has been talking a lot about the show, saying that America's Next Top Model was not only racist, but it was homophobic. He has no relationship right now with Tyra Banks, and Tyra has been keeping it pretty low. Chanel Jones from the Today Show. I love and adore her. She used to work here in Philadelphia. She's now on the Today Show. She is embracing her natural hair and she looks stunning. When you're on the network level or sometimes any level of TV, they want to give African-American women a hard way to go about their hair. They don't quite get the naturalness and, and, and everybody can't do natural because there are steps. Chanel looks amazing. She just did a tutorial on the third hour of today. And she also, it's it's two strand twist that she's doing and she takes it out. But she looks stunning. I love Chanel. Congrats on your hair journey. Mary J. Blige, I got a movie to tell you guys about that she's in entitled Body Cam. 
It's a supernatural thriller where Mary J. Blige plays a cop and she stumbles on some stuff and it's not right. She starts to investigate Anika Noni Rose, who was in Dreamgirls, Princess and the Frog. She co-stars along with her. Now, because the movie theaters are not open, you can get it on DVD in June. You can rent it on demand and you can purchase it as of next Tuesday. But it's a new movie with Mary J. Blige called Body Cam. Scotty Pippen. Any fans of The Last Dance out there, this is the Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls docuseries, which ends this weekend. It's excellent. It has to be the best docu series I've, I've ever seen. I'm just a huge fan of ESPN when they when they put together these things. They teamed up with Netflix. Well, Scotty, Scotty's not happy with it. He doesn't like how he's portrayed. He says it looks like he's underpaid and frustrated. Scotty, you were. Now, he says he and Jordan were the best teammates. They couldn't have won all those championships without each other. But Scotty, that contract you signed, I don't know what was going on. And I even sat there myself saying, can you read? Do you have friends? Do your agents like you? Do your lawyers like you? They let you sign this? He was severely underpaid. It's almost like he didn't even read it because he did not make his money. Scottie Pippen didn't make money until after he left the Chicago Bulls, even with all of those wins. His contract was... It was crazy low, especially compared. But Scotty doesn't like the way he's portrayed in it. Now, who had the final say on that docuseries? Michael Jordan, of course. It's basically his story, his telling through his eyes, you know, the ups and down, good and bad. Uptown Records founder, Andre Harrell, who passed over the weekend, his 26-year-old son, Gianni, took to social media to remember his dad in a really touching tribute. And he says he wished it didn't have to end this way. His son looks exactly like him. They look like twins, but Andre Harrell's son, Gianni, looks exactly like him. I got a common story. It has nothing to do with Tiffany Haddish. He did a documentary on prison life, We Matter Too. They're letting a lot of prisoners out because of this COVID-19 pandemic. They're, the prisons are basically on top of each other. It's impossible to do social distancing. I know they're making them wear masks and things, but now they say you can get it through the eyes. It's crazy. It's common wants this documentary out now. It's not supposed to come out until like the beginning of summer, but he wants it to come out now so that people can see the conditions and what the prisoners are going through. Unfortunately, because you hear so many bad stories, people make mistakes. People make mistakes. Some mistakes cost them many years of their life being taken away. For some, they have to spend the rest of their lives in prison. Yes, there are some horrific crimes out here and no slight to victims. But they're really treated as though some of the, especially with the, with the lesser crimes, I'm not talking about the real violent, those type things, the lesser crimes. It's like, you know, you, you shouldn't be here. People will make mistakes in life. That's just, it is. We go, we make mistakes every single day. We just don't go to jail for mistakes that we make. Anywho, getting off that, this documentary just shows what's going on. And Common would like people to see it now. He had played a big part in it and putting it together. We matter too. We may be seeing it sooner than you think. Tamron Hall, working from home, and she did a great thing for victims of domestic violence. And I had a solidarity. She raised money for domestic violence prevention. Unfortunately, one of the things about stay at home and quarantining, there has been a rise in domestic violence, there has been a rise. Can you imagine if you're in the house, you're stuck in the house with somebody that you don't get along with, with someone who is mean, with someone who is selfish, and it can go both ways, men or women, but it's hard. There has been a rise in domestic violence cases, and she did a great thing last night, a night of solidarity. 
if I heart you, that means that I saw you and appreciate your comments. Tell a friend. Subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing. I, lo I love the pace that it's growing. I would rather have slow and steady because I know that those people will just stay there than have something that just shoots up real fast. It, it's, it's a steady, it's a loyal audience. And as long as I can, I'm going to be bringing you guys all the scoop and different things that are going on. It's not cute not knowing. That's kind of like a signature saying of mine because... Are you annoyed when people like don't know like simple things that are going on? And you look at them like, do you read? <laughs> this is my favorite saying. Do you know what's going on? Are you reading? Are you aware? Because you should be aware of your surroundings wherever you are. Subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's not cute not knowing. Thanks so much for joining me.